The grass under the rocks teaches us how to grow while the orangutan on the rocks scares us. This orangutan came up to the man, its massive body completely obscuring the man. Why did this orangutan approach this man, and would it have acted otherwise? Only after experiencing hardships can one cherish a happy life. Only when you have experienced failure can you cherish success. It has been said that as long as we are sincere and simple enough, we will become happier. When we grow up, we will encounter all kinds of things. But if we are willing to make changes, the result may be completely different. The Bwindi National Park in Uganda attracted a lot of attention because of the different kinds of animals that were found there. With permission, visitors were allowed to walk inside. For people who had been living in the city, that was indeed a good opportunity to spend time with the animals. Only after entering, they needed to pay attention to a lot of things. In order to enter that park, many people would prepare well in advance. John enjoyed the adventure so much that he asked his friends to come to the park. They had already done the paperwork and were looking forward to entering the park. Before arriving, John deliberately searched the internet for considerations. Such as how to protect themselves if they encountered animals along the way. Humans were sometimes strange and would do strange things unconsciously. John and a friend of his were walking together on an extremely rough mountain road. The road was lined with towering trees and flowers of all colors. The trees became beautiful in the sunlight, which put them in a good mood. John felt comfortable in these woods, and it was as if he was listening to a pleasant music. After walking for a while, John felt tired. As he was sitting on a rock, an accident happened. John saw a group of orangutans and they seemed to be having a family meeting, and his appearance broke the harmonious picture. Fortunately, John had previous knowledge of this area, so he did not run away quickly but put his hands on his head to show weakness to the orangutans. But by then, he was still scared and his heart was racing. The female took a few steps forward when it saw John, and then it kept looking at John, seemingly interested in him. The female first touched John's hand and then looked at John's feet, then the male came forward, taller. After walking a few steps, the male orangutan actually sat down next to John. The male orangutan didn't do anything at first, but it seemed to be interested in John's clothes, so it started to stroke John's top. After seeing John's hair, it reached out its paws to brush John's hair. John was scared. But he couldn't do anything, especially after his hair attracted the attention of the male orangutan, and he didn't dare to move at all. In fact, the orangutans were friendly to John and didn't seem to want to hurt him, they were just curious about him, so they couldn't resist coming closer. That kind of harmonious picture didn't last long, because the orangutan's interest dropped. They left after that. At that time, John's friend was attracted by the beauty of another place. It wasn't a long time, but John will never forget it. When he saw the orangutans, the first thing John did was to show weakness rather than attack them aggressively. Orangutans are actually very friendly, and when humans don't hurt them, they treat humans well. But if humans hurt them, then the result is unimaginable. The kindness and loveliness of orangutans was reflected in that moment. There was an orangutan named Abai who was also very cute and well known to the public. Abai was previously orphaned and abandoned by its mother shortly after it was born. It had no choice but to change itself. Abai's trembling hands attracted Ruby's attention, so Abai was adopted by Ruby, and its life changed afterwards. Ruby took Abai to the animal sanctuary to make it grow in peace. Ruby loved animals and whenever he saw animals injured or straying out, he would help them and hope they would have a better life. As time passed, 
Ruby adopted more animals, and later he built a garden to keep them. The animals grew up in that garden, and when some of them were cured and Ruby thought they could live on their own, he would release them into the wild. Before that, Ruby would learn some expertise so that they could better survive. Ruby rescued Abai and then raised it with the rest of the staff. When Abai grew up, Ruby knew it could be fit for nature, so he purposely released it in a forest in Gabon, Africa, on a sunny afternoon. Five years passed. And Ruby went to Africa again and went to the forest. He met Abai again and was surprised that Abai was still treating him with enthusiasm. After seeing Ruby, Abai hugged Ruby first. At that time, Abai was so fat that Ruby almost didn't recognize it. They got along very well afterwards. And Ruby talked to Abai as if they hadn't seen each other for a long time. Even though Abai couldn't understand anything, it was patient. After that, Ruby got on a boat, but Abai couldn't swim. Looking at Abai who kept running, Ruby was very touched. Late at night, the people on the boat had fallen asleep while Abai was waiting quietly on the other side of the river until it saw Ruby again. Ruby admired Abai's enthusiasm and called out to it to hurry back. Parting was always sad, but the words of reluctance only made the atmosphere more subdued. All good things will last forever, and we should look forward to the future and cherish the present. Perhaps many people understand this, but we often feel regretful from time to time. Life will always go on, we will not always be happy, but also will not always be sad, as long as full of hope. Life is beautiful everywhere. Okay, that's the story for today. If you like it, please click subscribe, like and comment. We'll keep telling you more touching stories about animals, so we'll see you next time.